So the old Bexley and Sig Cup by-election was held yesterday following the death of Conservative MP James Brokenshire. And although the Tories won what is basically a safe seat for them, the media are full of stories along the lines of, is it over for Johnson? Labour made gains, 10-point swing to Labour. Here's what things really look like. For a start, the turnout in by-elections is usually lower than at a general election, but for this one, it was really quite pathetic. Here's the results for this by-election on the right. And as you can see, turnout was 33.5%, so fully two-thirds of voters stayed at home. Compare that to the result of the 2019 general election, where nearly 70% turned out. And you can see this is a particularly poor turnout, less than half. Now, the media's spin for these things is always focused on vote share. You can't predict vote share. You can't campaign for vote share. Vote share is a consequence of the actual number of votes. When you go out campaigning, you're looking to win people's vote, not their share of an indeterminate number of them. Vote share is a result of the final count. So this swing to Labour is utter drivel. As you can see from the election results, once again, Labour actually lost more than 4,000 votes this time around. They actually won their lowest number of votes since the seat was created in 1983. Of course, the Tories lost proportionately more. You're looking at just a third of the number of votes for Louis French as James Brokenshire got in 2019. Tory voters, typically the most reliable to turn out, didn't. Many stayed at home. That is an indictment on the Conservatives right now. Their regular voters, tribal as they are, are preferring to withhold their vote, and that should terrify them. The reasons Tories always do so well is the reliability of their base, and most didn't show. Save the ones that would literally vote for a turd if you stuck a blue rosette to it. That effectively bumped Labour's vote share up, despite their worst ever number of votes here. But not by anything that would make any difference. Enough Tories did turn out, giving them more than 50% vote share over 33% turnout. They win a majority under first past the post, despite only actually gaining the support of 17% of eligible voters. That's a sick joke, and once again shows how undemocratic our electoral system is. It has to change for any of us to truly get the representation we want, yet neither main party will stand to change it because they know one or other of them will always win power as things are. Proportional representation of some form is desperately needed because our lives are blighted by this system, delivering horrible governments every time, and the media cover it up by talking in terms of vote share rather than actual votes won. Neither main party did well here, yet nothing changed, and that should incense us all.